Hi folks and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different and I'm here on my old Windows machine. <coughs> Excuse me, I say old, it's not that old, but it is a Windows machine and that's unusual for me as I'm normally on a Mac. I don't really use this for music but I thought I'd use it just to demonstrate this little uh, this little gem that I found here. So if you go along to a memorymoon.com products, um, I'm going to show you a free product that comes from here which is something that's been out for a while but only been in 32-bit and now you can get it in 64-bit so this is where to get it from you can get it in two different looks you have a 64-bit uh, VS2 and a 64 VS T3 version I recommend downloading the VS T2 as it does give you instructions on how to get the presets to work in the VS T3 but I must admit I couldn't get it to work at all if anybody who's watching actually knows about this and can comment on it that would be absolutely great it would also be a good idea for me to tell you why I'm using a Windows machine and that's because this is actually Windows only. You cannot get this for the Mac, so you can only use it on Windows. For all you lucky Windows people, you can get this one and download it. So if you right click on the folders that got downloaded and just say extract all, you can leave them extracted in the same place. Uh, we'll do both of these. One, the actual piece of software itself and then the sounds that go in them lovely jubbly okay so now you can see that it's just downloaded all the different sounds or default presets that come with it so that's grand okay once you've downloaded and extracted them um, just copy them into whatever folder you normally copy your plugins into if it's not the default one uh, because I'm not using a default folder I'm using a folder on an extra drive that I have and as you can see I've copied them over and here's the one with the sounds in and there they all are and here's the one with the program in itself the VST with all the bits and pieces it needs okay so just quickly I'll show you where you go to sort out your plugins so if you just click on options settings and then look down till you see plugins in this settings box you'll see it at the top it scans every time you come into here and there at the top there it says use VST plugins in custom folder so if you're using a VS2 then you can switch that on and browse to wherever you're putting your VST to downloads of actual plugins and then underneath you can see that I've set mine up to go to an F drive which is a, a extra drive in my machine um, same for the VST 3s you can do exactly the same thing um, make sure that it's on and browse to the folder um, obviously it will also look in all the um, main default plugin folders that uh, that's already set up so that's just how you do it that's pretty much how you do it in any other door as well really there's always somewhere in settings that says plugins and you can direct your plugins to your actual door so here I am with my two versions I have got the uh, version VST 2 and 3 here but if I open up VST 3 now this could be something to do with the fact that I'm running Windows 11 I really don't like Windows 11 much at all um, I use Macs these days Windows kind of drives me insane um, I've followed all the instructions that they say on the website however even if I load a preset they don't work either so they don't come up in presets and they don't come up when you load them it just plays the uh, particular lead sound that comes up by default so I don't want to upset you Windows lovers but if any of you Windows people out there know exactly what the reason for that is then by all means like I say please do not hesitate to drop us a comment um, if you know the reason why it doesn't work but I've tried it and I just can't get it to go but anyway let's move on Okay, so it's the Mini Moog VA, and here we go. Let's just listen to a few presets on here just quickly. Let's go for the lead, which is the main one at the beginning. Let's 
Sorry about that playing, but I'm using my little 32 keyboard, key keyboard, and uh, I'm not great on that. Okay, so let's have a look and see what else they've got in presets. There's two ways to see the presets, by the way, and sometimes I keep clicking on that first idea they have for the presets, and I don't like that much. I just like clicking on the button that says presets. It shows them all properly then, rather than just a few. <laughs> Voyager Slippery 2, that one. Okay, super job. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, yeah, let's try this mini lead. Nice. Yeah, cool sound. Not bad, not bad. Okay, it's always good fun having a look through some of these presets. Let's just have another quick look at other th bits and pieces we've got in here. Looks like we've got some uh, interesting sounds like takeoff. Let's try that one, for instance. Yeah. Oh, yes. Cool, cool beans. Okay, well, so we got something else like that. Uh, Yes, rising. There's another one. Let's try that. Yeah, that's really cool. That's nice. Like it. Okay, let's give another one a whirl. Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? Where should we go? A super saw. Let's listen to that. bit of stereo Ooh, hope I don't get in too much trouble for that okay so as you can see down the bottom I have got um, some reverb and delay on now but um, it's drums as well um, that makes quite a good effect <laughs> cool um, yeah so there's plenty there to play with uh, but what I'm going to do next is just have a quick little whiz around the actual um, synthesizer itself and just do a little bit with that uh, just to round off the video really I did miss about a tiny little bit beforehand and just created some weird and wonderful sound so I just came up with this strange little thing that's using the auto pan, which is pretty cool. So let's go back to the initialization patch. Let's have some fun. So oscillator one at the top. Well, we've got oscillator one, two and three. Over here, like I said, I think I figured this out that it's just um, either LFO for oscillator modulation or the sound for um, oscillator three. So we're gonna start here on oscillator one. So let's just um, press a key and there's all the different The different types saw sign square and everything over here we've got a filter we've got a 12 dB or 24 
Looks about with all that nice little drive over here. Cool. Um, yeah. Let's um, let's go over to oscillator one. Uh, what should we have? Um, just over here, by the way, um, we've got oscillator. I'm gonna one. I'm gonna turn off at the moment. Oscillator three i'm going to turn that up and if i press the key i'm getting absolutely nothing but when i go over here and we turn that on then i get oscillator three and it's also got some sounds some nice sounds in it the usual kind of noise sound and more oscillators oscillator modulation I guess is for when you've got it on LFO. Here is the glide. Okay. Yeah, so there's your glide over there. So that's working while we've got oscillator three on. So I guess you have to use oscillator three for glide. Not sure if okay so yeah okay so that's all for glide and what have you this oversampling um i don't actually know what this is i've got to confess so if there's anybody watching this as an absolute expert on mini moogs then uh maybe just maybe you'll be able to tell me what it is uh leave me a comment it'll be great talking of comments by the way if you could Please consider, if you're still with me, <laughs> to subscribe to my channel. It really would help me build up this channel a little bit more. And of course, help me to get better and create more content. OK, so I've just gone back to the uh, default again. So there's my, my initialized sound. Now let's have a look at the LFO here. So let's just... It's about making the LFO do something with the cut off, just as a demonstration. So, so let's get some sort of sound here. Okay, now we can go over to the LFO and let's have a look for the filter. There it is. I see it. There it is. Yep. Magic. OK, so let's we've got two choices, sine or square. Slowly bring it up. We've got speed of one eighth. I think we'll go. Let's go up a bit more. One, 160. There we go. And then we've got two choices there. Now let's have a quick look at the old arpeggiator. Uh, let's switch it on. Okay. these and turn that on. I have to turn the arpeggiator off. It's kind of like a little step gizmo. This is pretty good fun. <laughs> okay. OK, I've just done my um, initialization patch again. Um, I'll leave a link below to it if you want to use it. Um, let's just make, uh, yeah, this is all you get, so that's grand, nice and standard. Let's just make a quick bass before I finish this video. So let's just turn that to 32. OK. Bring the cut down. Yep, uh, that's a little bit of release. Oh, yes, doing. There you go. A little bit of a. Bring the sustain down. Yeah. 
Okay, down a little bit. Yep, uh, what should we do? A little bit of delay, maybe? Nice. Uh, second oscillator, bring that in. Let's leave it on what it is and drop it right down to 64 and slowly bring it up. Oh yeah, give it a bit more meat now to this kind of bass sound. Stick up the level a bit, and there we go. Okay, let's play with the cut off a bit, shall we? Or maybe emphasis. Whoa. Okay, let's. Let's just play around a bit with the LFO. Uh, where should we go? Let's quickly look for the filter. Uh, looks like you just have to fill the cut off, so yeah, I guess we'll leave it on filler. Let's try and bring it up a bit. Bring that down. This is just the fun of it, man, to just do whatever you want, make whatever sound you feel like making, play around with it, find out a little bit more about it and what you can do with it, and just enjoy. Free stuff is always great to enjoy. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. So I'll leave all the links below for what you need and just get on downloading and either create some super fantastic sounds or just use it with the presets and make some wonderful music for yourself. Cheers, thanks very much, and hope to see you all again soon. Bye.